Whoa, hello! Why, it's Sexty Cat here! And how are you doing today? Oh, I'm doing alright, eh? I tell ya. We're just watching a compilation video I made of me playing Orb Sage. I guess it's a compilation of the same day. But I just wanted to chit chat on top of it. This might be one of the last Earth.io videos I upload, so maybe it's kind of special that way. I have put a lot of hours into this game of questionable quality. There have been many lessons learned, many experiences brought through. If I find a game that kind of satisfies some elements of this, I mean, I even think of a lot of different game design ideas that are inspired kind of from this, but... To be completely frank, I think the kind of unfairness and the reward towards unfair play is kind of drags you down enough where you don't want to play anymore. Um, I mean, for example, you look at classes. I'm trying to do Orb Sage, but Orb Sage is kind of tough compared to like all the melee classes. And I think one of the biggest reasons for that is that you have a lot more options. Just Hero is the best class because it has all the options. It has a lot of different places it can hit you at. And basically, the map really affects that a lot too. This is, well I've only played on two maps, but this is definitely way worse than the last map as far as balance goes. It's, it's interesting, I guess, going across it, but you have, there's a lot of cheap spots, which really, it kind of just too much of a bummer eventually. So there's game, aspects of this game that reward that kind of behavior. So that's in the game design department. And as we all know, Rococo is long gone, abandoned this game forever ago. So it's crazy we got this one update. Um, I guess I would play again if my map got uploaded. That'd be pretty sweet. That'd be a lot more fair. And honestly, this update was kind of better, but I think there's a fundamental game design idiosyncrasies, I don't know what to call them, that makes the game kind of frustrating. I get a lot of frustrated experiences playing this game, and I couldn't imagine somebody, a noob, I mean, I guess I was a noob once, but I think it's extra punishing for new players. And I, in the last, I, I was trying to improve the play, game experience as best as I could by just trying to reduce toxicity, killing, killing toxic people. And I, I usually just don't even attack. I don't start attacking anybody. I wait till they attack me. I just can't help but do that either. Which is kind of funny that this game is designed to... It's basically a free-for-all game, and I think it's mainly designed for you to just jump in for like five minutes and, whoa, there's supposed to be a ton of players, a lot of density, and... Oh, like, the top guy got killed by a level one archer. Whoa, and now he's top, and then he gets killed by somebody else. I think that's the kind of dynamic they're looking for. And us people who play this game way too much have kind of just a, we know all the cracks, all the all the details of this game to twist it to our will. Basically, you can see that with a big contrast with a new player to a, a more veteran player. Like they can basically pwn you. But I think there'd be a lot of way, ways to improve this game and design. inspires games that I would like to make. I think I have like about three designs that can share some tropes, share some characteristics. How I view design is I think every, th every game is kind of a collection of tropes, a collection of ideas that you can kind of extract from other games. So like a person could be like, I've heard this before, I said I have like animals in my game. They're like, oh so it's like Minecraft. I'm like, well that doesn't so many games have animals in them. Like, it just depends on how you use it. So you can extract one part of a game and put it in another game. I mean, games are a collection of ideas. And you could go that with, um, with film or books. They're a collection of tropes. So you can look, you can look up tropes. There's some cool websites that show what, how different tropes are in different movies and stuff. And you can look that up yourself, but... I think, yeah, I think this game started with like an IO vibe, like Agario or Slithario, and uh, 
but this it's got this kind of platformer fighting aspect to it, kind of like Street Fighter or Super Smash Brothers. Um, but in contrast, you have a lot less options. You can only choose one class that only has one really limited attack. I think that's just probably this game's biggest weakness. I think how the levels are too. It basically rewards a player who already is a higher level, you know? Um, which we've basically broken by farming and stuff. Uh, and even this map, this map is, you can farm so easily, it's so big, you can hide a farmer. So if you know to do that, to use an alternative to, I mean, this not, this game isn't meant to do that, but we've just figured out our ways. Yeah, it's much, high level is so much better, and mainly for one trait, and that's speed. Speed is extremely overpowered, essentially, as a trait. You should always max out your speed, because you get to determine when the battle, and you can retreat from the battle if it's not in your favor. So you get to you get to choose when to fight, and when you don't want to fight, you don't have to fight. So I mean that that's such a major advantage. It's insane, and also the retreat runaway advantage, especially in this map. You can just there's so many avenues to escape. You have a higher speed and everybody else is a lower level there could be 10 of them and they're just running around aimlessly and basically that creates that the game experience itself is just like cat and mouse it's just running away which i don't think i don't know i guess you could come up with something better i think in my opinion so some game thoughts on. i was thinking about you could exacerbate the unfair aspects and kind of play on that and like one aspect that i like is when everybody's trying to kill the top player, the kill, the king, as they call them, uh, the top of the leaderboard at the mo at the time, uh, I, you could think of like boss battles. That person could be the boss. Or I was thinking about a game where it's also it's kind of like fighting like this, but you have a king who's literally the king, and he can make like maybe some certain rules, and he could be like a tyrant, and then people will want to overthrow him essentially. But it would be similar enough in this game where you, you have a login, you're, you're fighting, probably platforming fighting. I mean, I bet any f there's so many better fighting systems you can do. The physics in this game are just just not good. They're just as basic as you can be. There's You don't even have, your velocity goes down to zero right away. There's no like slipperiness. There's no weight to your characters. Um, anyway, you can exacerbate unfairness with that game design, the king king of the court, whatever. Mm -hmm.